Hey everybody, Mike Chavez here once again. Today, got a turkey breast. Gonna put it on the pit barrel smoker. Now I've had this breast sitting in the freezer since the holidays and I can't think of a better time than to put this thing out here on the smoker. So what I'm gonna do, I've got the Oak Ridge barbecue brine. Uh, you saw me use this on one of my previous chicken videos. Well, you know, turkey doesn't have a whole lot of flavor to it, especially a turkey breast. So this brine's gonna keep it juicy, uh, add some extra flavor to it, good seasoning all the way through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this uh, injection up. We're gonna inject the breast and then we're gonna pour the rest of the brine over it and we'll put it in the refrigerator overnight. So stick with me and we'll see how I do this, okay? This is gonna be my first time. I've never really done a turkey breast out on the pit, uh, pit barrel, but uh, this is gonna be good. So y'all check it out right after this. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is mix up this Oak Ridge Barbecue uh, Game Changer Brine and Injection. Man, that stuff smells good. So, we got the uh, Vitamix out. So we're gonna take four tablespoons of the brine mix. Now, I was really impressed by the way this stuff <clears throat> tasted uh, uh, with the chicken the last time. So uh, I know this is going to do, do this turkey breast some justice. So we're going to take uh, 16 ounces of cold water. Now, the reason I'm doing it in the blender, now you could do it with hot water, let it cool. But the blender will dizzle it for me really good because uh, this stuff isn't easy to dissolve in cold water. So... Here we go, so we dump 16 ounces of water in there. There we go. And we'll give it a whirl. All right, we're gonna let that sit there for a minute and then we're gonna get the turkey out. All right, so hang on one second and I'll be right back with you. All right, y'all, what we got here is about a little over an eight pound turkey breast, just a regular old Walmart turkey breast. Uh, I've had it thawing in the refrigerator for the last three days. So there's still a little bit of a little bit of ice in there. So I'm gonna try to get this thing fairly dry. Go at it. Alright, now that I got this thing dry, <clears throat> I'm gonna trim off some of this excess, like this excess skin right here. Let me get in there and get that. Get that off of there. Come over here. So we got a whole bunch, whole bunch of excess skin here. Let's get that off of there. We don't need all that. All right. So I'm going to give this. This has been sitting here about five, six minutes. I'm going to get another little buzz there. All right, what I'm gonna do is take this breast, put it in a pan to catch all the all the excess brine. So we've got our injector. I'm gonna get on in there. Just go all over the place. All 
like I said, the turkey breast ain't got a whole lot of flavor. This is going to add some good flavor and seasoning to it. So, got her injected up. So I'm going to take big old, got about a two and a half gallon Ziploc. Stick it on in there. Dump the rest of the brine mixture in. All right. Now, if I didn't mention it before, this is the night. If I didn't mention it, this is the night before. <laughs> so we're gonna put it on in here. All right. We'll go breast side down. So I'm gonna. Put this in the refrigerator and uh, let it sit in there all night. And uh, I'll bring you back tomorrow. We're gonna rub this down with some good barbecue rub and uh, put it out there on the pit barrel. So, see y'all in the morning. All right, y'all, it's the next day. This turkey breast has been in the brine all night. So we're gonna go ahead and drain this breast off. Drain, give it a little rinse and some cold water. Just rinsing the excess brine off. All right. Don't need to be really crazy with it. And let this drip dry a bit and then we'll take it over to the cutting board and pat it dry. All right, y'all got it on the cutting board on some paper towels. Go ahead and pat it dry really good. And now that I've looked at it better, I'll look under the skin. There's a nice big hunk of fat here I want to get rid of. and dry so what I want to do I think I was thinking about this last night and go ahead I'm gonna pull this skin off of here because what's gonna happen when you smoke a turkey or a chicken or whatever the skin don't usually turn out real good but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to keep it intact I'm gonna pull this skin off of here a couple little stubborn areas there Go ahead and expose all this breast meat. Just take your thumb, go on down there till you get to a stubborn spot that you got to cut. right there now don't throw this skin out now I'm just gonna set it over here and save it and just keep on drying this off got a little bit of slimy stuff here get that all off of there all right so we'll go ahead and let's spray this down with some olive oil It's a fat breast, I'll tell you what. Now, go ahead and get some of this here Killer Hogs barbecue rub. And I'll rub it down. Now, 
Now this shouldn't need a lot of this because we done brined it, so it should be seasoned clear through and through, but we want to go ahead and get this rub all over. Inside, out, underneath, all surfaces. So we're going to go ahead and let this melt. Um, what I might try to do, put this skin back over it to protect it some. All right, so we'll take, shove a toothpick in there at the top to hold this on there. And we'll get this other side. And hopefully that'll hold that on. Let me put one more. So now, let me go ahead and get a little rub on this skin. Just to make it pretty. I doubt this skin's going to be real edible. But that's okay. I'm after that delicious turkey meat inside. So, we're going to let this sit here. Come to room temp. Go outside and get the cooker fired up. All right, y'all, right, firing the pit barrel up, standard method. So, and once again, we filled our uh, charcoal basket up, level with the top, took about 20, 23 coals out put them in the short chimney and got our fire starter going. So let me get this going and then I'll be right back with you. Once again, I got some uh, peach wood, some apple wood going in. Three bars on in. So like I said, we're going to be hanging this turkey breast, so. All right, y'all, this thing's about ready to go. So we got our turkey breast here. Got a temperature probe in the side. So we'll bring this on down, hang it up. Whoop, temperature probe come out. So let's get the temperature probe down in there. So we were looking for about 165 to 170. Don't know how long it's going to take. So we'll just keep an eye on everything and make sure this lid's down tight. So I'm thinking two hours, three hours. We shall see. All right, y'all, so you see I got my remote readout here for my thermometers. So that turkey's sitting at 46 and the cooker at 162. All right, y'all, let's pop his lid and see what's looking like. Oh yeah. Looking mighty fine there, mighty fine. Oh yeah. All right. Let's say we got less than an hour, and this thing will be ready to go. All right, y'all. Been a few hours. Let's check this thing out. All right, looking pretty good. Let's take a temp. 162. We're going to call this done. All right, y'all. 
brought it in, covered it up. So it's been resting for about 30 minutes or so. Get all these toothpicks out of here. down on the cutting board so oh, put another toothpick in here now this skin isn't going to be too hot so we're going to get this out of the way and let's get on down let's get on in this thing So come on down the side. Get this breast off the bone. There we go. So once you get the breast off the bone, just make some nice slices. Oh yeah, I can feel how juicy and tender that is my goodness Let's get this on a plate. Put this other half back in here. There we go. Get a little thumbnail here. All right. Good stuff. Now. Got a little bit of, got a few side dishes, so let me get some of this turkey breast. Got some mashed potatoes. And we got some cabbage. There we go. All right, y'all. Turkey breast is done. So look at that. Nice and moist. And just feel how moist that is. Smell the smoke coming off of it. All right, you ready, y'all? Taste. <laughs> Oh my God. That's some of the most moist turkey breast I think I've ever eaten. I haven't smoked a lot of turkey breast, but I'm gonna do that again, I'll tell you what. That is awesome. Mm. Man, it don't get any better than that. So next time you do turkey breast, brine it. I got this Oak Ridge barbecue brine, but you can make your own brine up. There's lots of recipes on the internet and on YouTube. Smoke it. So we had it out there close to 300 degrees for about three hours. We got the internal up to about 165 degrees. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and have some dinner and we'll catch you all later. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, like I said before, don't cost nothing. Hit that button, ring the bell if you'd like to get notified in my future videos. So, anyway, y'all, we'll see you next time.
Bye. Thanks for watching.